Have you ever tried signing up for Stripe or Shopify payments only to see not available in your country? Or maybe PayPal keeps flagging your account? Or Facebook bans your ads because they think you are running multiple accounts? If you are outside the US, these roadblocks can ruin your online business. But there is a way to protect your work and access the geolock services safely. Hi everyone, my name is Samuel Dollar and on this channel, I help freelancers, bloggers, dropshippers and remote workers building business without borders. If you're hustling online outside the US, whether you're in Canada, India, Pakistan, or Kenya, or anywhere else, you've probably faced platforms shutting doors on you. Today, this video is for you. So, what is an anti-detect browser? Most people think VPN is enough, but here is the truth. Even if you hide your IP address, website can still identify you through your browser fingerprints, things like your device information, screen size, operating system and even install phone. An anti-detect browser solves this by creating completely separate isolated browser profiles that look unique and mimic real devices. It's like having multiple computers in one. This. Not all anti-detect browsers are created equal. After testing different methods and tools, multi-logging consistently stands out for reliability, ease of use, and the extra features online workers like us needs. If any of this sounds like challenges you face, you are not alone. This is why anti-detect browsers exist. Not all anti-detect browsers are created equal. After testing different methods and tools, multi-logging consistently stands out for reliability, ease of use, and the extra features online workers like us need. Let's jump inside multi-logging so you can see it in action. For you to use multi-logging anti-detect browser, we must first install it in our device. We must install the agent itself. It will be downloaded to your device where you can set it up. Uh, run it and install it is when we can come back and start creating profiles. Make sure you choose your operating system. We must ensure that the agent was installed successfully. So we go to step two, which is connecting the agent to our browser. So click on connect and give it time for it to So when you come under your profile, you'll be able to create a new profile based profiles, on the following. So you'll be able to create browser. a local profile, a cloud-based profile for remote access, or create a profile from a template that you already created, or import a profile if you have an existing profile you want to mimic. If you don't want your profile to be stored anywhere, you just want to use it temporarily, you click on Quick Creation. When you click on Quick Creation, you'll be able to create a profile and use it. After using it, it won't be stored anywhere. You can also edit existing profile. Select specific one that you want to edit. Come here, click on edit profile. There will be a pop-up window that gives you option to edit the profile name, control the cookies, website name, etc. So if you want to change anything under this profile name, you simply change and click on update profile. You can as well clone existing profile. You can copy profile ID. You can also move a specific profile to a specific folder. It can be a bulk action of 10 profile. You can refresh IP of all the selected profiles. You can check if the proxy is working or connected. The other option is you can bulk delete every profile under this section or select specific profile you want to delete. The next option is to start a specific profile or you can launch multiple platform by just clicking this rocket sign. My account allows me to have up to 100 profiles. So I already have two created, so I can have up to 100. The number of profiles that will appear here depends with your plan. So if you have an active profile that you want to stop, you simply come under this X and click stop profile and that profile will be stopped from running in the back. You can also import specific profile or export profiles to whatever platform that you want. The same settings at the header can be found at each profile. So when you click on the three dots, it will give you all these options. You'll see all your profiles, both active and inactive. You'll see the profile that are running. Suppose one was running here, none is running. So you, you'll see also the profiles you've deleted plus the numbers of profiles in each folders. You can create different folders based on the profiles you want to run. Uh, for instance, I created a Facebook US account folder. So whenever I'm creating a US Facebook account, I'll target under Facebook US account folder. So when I click on the folder itself, I'll see all the accounts that are related to that specific folder. 
you can have, you can have as many folders as you want depending on what you want to achieve the next section i want us to talk about is the proxy multi-logging and detect browser now as inbuilt proxies yes you don't need to buy proxies from a third party only if you want to when you click on proxies you'll be able to create different proxies depending on what you want to achieve so you click on create you are required to name your proxy for instance if i want this proxy to belong specific country or specific town for instance i'll create usa new york for instagram one if i have multiple instagram on my profile so i'll come here under the type i'll say multi-logging if i have third party proxy i'll click on custom then you'll be able to enter all the information you got from your third party proxy but in this case i'm using multi-logging as my preferred proxy. you can either choose a residential proxy or a mobile proxy. i'll leave it a residential you can choose http or, or sox5 i'll leave it at that then you scroll down here's where you choose the location if you have a specific location in mind you click on it then you'll be able to type the country name and choose because i said new york so i'll come here and look for new york and click on it i have a specific town in mind i can come here and type the bronze then before i create i can test this proxy to see if this proxy is working so i simply click check proxy and the results are out proxy check pass meaning this proxy is working so i'll click on create proxy and my first proxy has been created okay so I can assign this proxy to specific profile or specific templates depending with how I want to use it. So I'll show you how I'm going to add this proxy to a template or to a profile later. Now templates are pre-formatted frameworks. They help us save time so that we don't create new stuff each and every time we want to do something. For instance, if I add 10 profiles that are targeting Australia, I will come here under template and create a template called australia instagram account in that template i can define specific proxy specific rules so whenever i'm opening an instagram account i can simply tag them to use that specific template then add them to a specific folder so you come under template and click on create template so under templates you come and click on create template it gives you option to name that specific template and under the pre-made cookies if you have specific website you want to target with this specific template you simply come here and choose you have option of amazon being ebay etsy facebook google and if your site is not listed in this list you simply click on others whether you are targeting remote work website that you cannot access in your country the likes of uh, chat moderation etc you simply click, click on others let me create this for let's say google you have option to use a new proxy that you're going to create if you select this option or a custom proxy or a proxy from existing template when you click existing template it'll give you the one that we just created so when you click this we'll be using this specific proxy the one we just created under proxy instead of using random proxy for this instance we can either choose multi-logging for multi-logging to give us a random proxy or if we have a proxy from a third party app we can set up the configuration here or if you already created a proxy and we want this template to use that specific proxy we'll select existing proxy from the template in our case we leave it at multi-logging i don't want to use the existing template if you have a location in mind select the location we did this in our proxy setup so you understand how to configure all this if you want advanced setting you simply click advanced then it gives you option of configuring your proxy and templates further for instance you can choose storage to be cloud or local you can choose the browser you want your profile or this template to mimic you can also choose the time zone do you want to use real time zone as the real proxy or you want to mask it out do you want to use the browser language or you want to use the real language so you can play along with all these settings and configure it the way you want it to be i'm going to name this australia so when you are done with your template and setting you simply click create template and the template has been created you can edit this template if you want to you can change the operation system you can change the browser you can also set a specific template as your default template so whenever you are opening the browser your profile automatically picks a default 
template to operate in. If you have a team that you are working with either physically or remotely and you want to give your team access, what you do is you simply invite them. They give you their email, you invite them. After they've accepted your invite, you'll be able to see all your staff members or team members here. You can simply click on specific profile if you want to change their role or you want to assign them specific profiles and tasks. So you simply come and click manage access. You come here and change their role from manager, operator. So you come here and change their role which will enable them to either see specific folders, do specific tasks, access specific profiles or just do one task based on the type of access you are giving them. As a manager, they'll be able to create, edit, start profiles, move profiles between folders, add, remove team members with operator and starter roles, remove profiles to trash bin and restore them. As a operator, they're only limited to create, edit, start profile, move profile between folders, remove profiles to trash bin and restore them. As a starter, they can only start browser profile. That's it. They can't do anything else. And if you want any of your team member to access specific folder, so from the level of operator to starter, you simply click the folder you want them to access. If you're hiring someone and their work is to manage your Facebook US account, you simply give them access to that folder. Then you click on save. So they'll able to have access to that folder plus all the profiles and template inside that specific folder. And yes, that's it. So after you've created your profile, it is time now to test and launch uh, your profile to see if it is working. So because I already created profiles here, I'll just go and test on one. So I'll click start profile. So the profile is running in the background. It will pop in a few seconds. Here we go. Now my IP address reads Florida United States because this specific profile had such setting. And the reason why this browser is small it is because I chose mobile instead of residential. When you choose residential, this browser will be maximized to the size of your desktop or lap. So as you can see, my browser reads, my browser reads Florida, United States, plus a lot of information. If you have time, you'll just go through them. My location, latitude, longitude, time, based on my browser, the browser I'm accessing the US with. You can have up to 100 profiles and more based on your needs, based on your plan. So. If you're working online from home, you want to access work at home remote jobs that are not allowed in your country or website that have blocked your country. This is the only solution for you to go undetected and work as US resident without leaving the comfort of your home. Now this is how multi-logging and detect browser work. We are going to dig deeper into each sections in the coming videos. Let me show you what make it special. First, built-in proxies. Multi-logging gives you ready to use proxies inside the app so you don't have to earn for another third party services. Second, the browser profile isolation. Each profile mimics a completely different device and location. Third, their cloud sync and team invitation. You can access your profile from any computer or securely share them with your colleague or partners remote. And finally, automation support. Multi-logging works with automation framework so you can scale safely without risking burn. Here are 10 reasons why people, especially non-US online workers, use anti-detect browser. 1. To bypass geolocked restriction. Access services like Stripe, Shopify payments, or PayPal that aren't officially available where they live. The second reason is to manage multiple accounts safely. That is run multiple Facebook ads account or social media accounts without triggering bans. Number three, fingerprint spoofing and privacy. This stop platforms from linking your sessions and protect your personal data. The next reason to prevent advertising tracking. It keeps advertisers and data brokers from creating a profile on you. The fifth reason is support for e-commerce dropshipping. This helps e-commerce entrepreneurs to access same services, same apps their US counterparts have access to. It also gives them an option to create multiple stores without restriction. The sixth reason why people use anti-detect browser is for affiliate marketing campaign management. It helps you run and test geo-specific landing pages 
without filters flagging you. Number seven is team collaboration. You can share your browser profile safely with your team or partners remotely. Number eight, safe automation and boss testing. You can use any automation tool without the fear of being detected. The ninth reason, protect business research. Spy on competitors' ads, browse through their products or pages without you being detected. And the last reason why people use anti-detect browser is to enhance their security, protect online banking, crypto wallet, and confidential client projects. Freelancer, Adobe shipper, or a remote worker outside the US, multi-logging is hands down the best anti-detect browser to help you access geolog services, protect your privacy, and scale your business without fear of bans. I've dropped a link in the description so you can check out multi-logging and see how it can unlock your full potential online. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tools and strategies for global online entrepreneurs, and comment below what platform has given you the hardest time with GeoBlock. See you in the next video. Bye.